Hey guys, welcome to the LBP Creator Guide, and today we're continuing with the co-op boat level. And as you can see, um, I have the two boats here, like last time where we left off. Now, one quick thing I wanted to point out: the bullet we used in the last episode had a little flaw. Um, so what we want to do is just quickly get that out and modify it, like so. I am doing it now. Uh, put a timer. Plug it into the arm. Reset. And there we go. That's all we need to do. And then we just copy that. Delete the old one. And put this in. Got to move it or fire in the same place. And delete that one. Okay. So now it should be able to go down. Uh, we may have another problem where the HP, uh, this wasn't here originally, uh, the HP kind of, because this is constantly on, because the stream is that fast, it's constantly on, so we put a timer, uh, we put it on at 0 0.2 and then we attach it to the counter. So before it was just this connected to this, so we just put this in the middle and it resets itself. Next, um, what we need to do now is this logic here will not work, I just realised because I'm silly. And what we need to do is move this up, turn this, and get a not switch. And reattach it like that. So now the blowing up sequence should work. So pause and unpause just in case. Ah, one last thing. We have to turn this into a uh, normal. And there we go. Obviously that thing didn't blow up. Because <laughs> we didn't have a oh don't want to do that. It doesn't have a destroyer on it. So, so, just to fix that, let's copy this. Right there. And get this up here. So now the whole boat should be destroyed. And ah, this has not done it again. Okay. There we go. Okay, let's just pause and unpause, save again. <laughs> okay. There we go. And we need obviously the last one on the HP, but we'll do that a bit after because we don't really need it now. Okay. Uh, now that we have the boat being destroyed. What we need to do next is make it so we can destroy other boats as well. So to do that, we'll basically just need to copy the boat and make multiple of them and change the tags. So that'll be destroyed as well now. And to do that, we're going to have to change some bullet tags and we have to change other tags and all this other stuff. So. To make it easier, what we'll do is copy it four times, like so, and then we'll go into the logic of the first one and see what's going on. Okay, so when it's hit by a blue bullet, it gets destroyed. When this one is hit, it will be the same, obviously, because we just copied it. So that's a blue bullet hit by a blue bullet. So these are all hit by blue bullets. And then they'll lose health. So that's good. Meaning they should all fire blue bullets. So just to make sure I'm going to fire and then check. Okay, they impact themselves, obviously. That's the only floor. 
So we're going to have to make different combinations of tags to make it so it doesn't they don't destroy themselves. So this ship's tag is let's say hit by okay this one will be hit by red this one will be hit by pink this one will be hit by purple and this one will be hit by blue okay so now we need to make different types of bullets so bring this up and expand this a bit because we're going to make the logic a bit bigger than before okay so the bullet on this is blue so that one can only hit this one at the minute so we want it to make it a hit, a hit. so let's say this this uh, bullet gets shot from the blue one so it needs to be able to hit the top three ones but not the blue one so just make three tags so one two and three meaning it, it can destroy these three boats but not itself and it does not impact the ship with the blue knot so it's a blue knot and blue knot yeah okay so it can't hurt itself that's that one's bullet so the second guy's bullet will have here blue instead of purple because itself is purple and the other two colors which are here this guy will have a purple knot it should be already purple yeah it's not okay close those so we know we've done them copy this to the next one open this change this to the second one that's it and then change that to the third one and this will be changed to the third one. Close that. Copy again. And the colours will be blue, purple, and pink. And the knot for this guy is the red. Change his knot red. Did I change this one, didn't I? Don't remember. Yeah, I did. Okay, so this, let me just check over these, make sure that's right, yep, yeah, everything looks right. So they fire bullets specifically made for them now, so just to be sure we're going to copy it with each boat. Um, then what we need to do is open the logic here, and get what we actually might want to do is turn these round, it should be easier to work with then. So, bring these up. Turn. Like so. That means the HP is going to be weird, for, we'll flip it round if it needs to be flipped. So, open this logic, as we said before. And copy the new emitted bullet. Uh, let me just take it off grid. Let me zoom in. Okay. So it copies the bullet above it. And fires that. Let me just make sure that works. <laughs> it's backwards. Let's copy that. Ah, the bullets are upside down, that's why. Didn't just, I just forgot, totally forgot about that. So flip these around, put on grid, it's easier, no matter which one. And then try again. So copy. Uh, I think the bullets will be the other way around now. Let me just check. So this is a red guy, this is the, oh, the blue guy's bullet. So yeah, the bullets are the other way around. So let's fix that. So. Red bullet, 
red ship. Let's pull out this ship. Let's pull out this ship. Let's pull out this ship. Like so. Next is now we put the bullets in. So let me just put that one in. Pause, check. So that works fine. But what we need to do is do it for the rest of them now. So copy the bullet. You don't have to move it once it's done because we've already selected the bullet before. So grab that look there. And do the last one. So what we're gonna do quickly just to make life easier is delete this last one that we did and copy all these. Okay, the last thing I'm going to do for this tutorial is glue all these together just because I saw a little glitch while I was testing it. And this, I need to check the settings, so yes, destroy. There you go. Uh, let's just make this disappear. Okay, glue again. and disappear. Last time, glue again. Not last time, I've got one more, I think. <laughs> okay. Disappear. Last one. Now. Disappear. Everything. So I make everything visible. Uh, this has already been changed. I think I just changed it. <laughs> a very bad memory. Okay, so copy them all again once more. And we now have ones. ships for each player. Hopefully, this tutorial was helpful, and you know, we're getting closer towards the actual awesome part. This is mainly the most of the logic done now. Um, next episode uh, we're just going to be um, making probably the level or something similar. Anyway, hopefully this helps you in creating some awesome stuff and I will see you in the next episode. Peace.